So if when you hook the golf ball, the golf ball will probably start out to the right hand side of the fairway or even down the middle but right-ish and then violently hook over. Now if it starts too far right, and by too far right I would generally suggest that if it's off the fairway right or off the green right as it flies away from you for the first 50-60 yards, and that's what I would class as too far right. And that would tell us that the swing path, the swing plane is too flat, it's too much from the inside. So we can refer back to the checkpoints of how we're going to swing the golf club back to relate to the downswing. So as we swing the golf club back, we'd like the club to be straight in line with the, with the body here, straight in line with the hands here, right in front of the chest, to the top. We'd like the golf club to track back on those same two checkpoints to make sure it comes back into the golf ball on the right swing plane. If you feel the golf club gets up and then gets too far behind the body, gets very flat and gets stuck behind the body, it's going to be hitting far too much from the inside going out and hit almost a, a push or a block shot off the club face. That's only therefore rescued by the hands flipping over in the finish which gives the ball too much spin. So just be very careful that you can watch the first 50 or 60 yards of that ball flight and see whether the ball flight is on line and on path to go straight in line with the flags or whether you've got the golf club stuck too far behind you and the ball flight is starting too far off line to the right. Now if it's too far off to the right and you feel like that's the cause of your hook shot, just try and swing the golf club up and down so it feels a little bit more in front of the chest, in front of the body. So bringing the golf club up onto the checkpoints we talked about in the first section and then try and feel like the club stays almost in front of those checkpoints on the way down. I don't want to get you to swing it too far over the top because that could turn it back into a slice and we definitely don't want that. But just to avoid getting the golf club stuck behind you, try and feel like the club is swinging in front of the chest for a little bit longer during the downswing. That should improve the start direction of your shots.